Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Today we're going to take a look at how to use ES Chat on an iPhone 7. And the biggest difference between the iPhone and the Sonom that we looked at in the previous video is the iPhone does not have a dedicated push to talk button on the side. So instead, it has a push to talk tab on the bottom. So if we want to make a call to the Sonom, we would simply select and then you will see the green button says push to talk. So we push to talk and we release to stop talking. When you want to hang up the call, you simply slide to end the call. And there's your notification that we've missed a call from the iPhone. Now, the menus across the top, the contacts, the groups, the messages, the map, the recent call activity, that's all pretty much the same. The subtle difference here is the difference in the uh, do not disturb and the blocked calls. So if we take this red speaker here and we touch it, it becomes green and now the phone is available to receive calls from any user. If we touch it again, it goes back to red and now we're on do not disturb, which means that the iPhone cannot be contacted by anybody. Now, if there was just one user that you wanted to stop taking calls from, you would hit the information button on the side here and this brings up a menu similar to what we saw on the Samsung or sorry, the Sonom uh, that we got by long pressing on the user. Now this gives us four choices, the first one being alert call, and this allows us to send an alert to the Sonom, and the Sonom has the choice of ignore or answer. If they choose ignore, the iPhone gets a message that says that the Sonom has rejected the call. Now the second tab down is send message, and this works almost identically to the other one. You tap the message box and it brings up the keyboard, you type in your message and if you decide that you want to add a picture, you can take a photo and you just line up your shot and then take it. And we decide we want to use this photo so we're just going to push use and then we're going to send and we'll get a notification on the other phone that the message has been received. Now the third menu option down is show on map and we just touch that and it brings up the map and it's a little hard to see on this but there are three bars up here so if you touch these you have a choice of the standard, the hybrid, or the satellite. So you can choose the one that suits you best and simply select done. And then you can go back to the contacts menu simply by pushing the contact button. Creating ad hoc groups works exactly the same on both phones. So once again, you would simply choose the devices that you wanted to include in a call and you would push the push to talk button. Now, we can't make this call because as you can see, these are grayed out and that indicates that those particular users aren't available at this time. The other subtle difference is the menu button, which on the Sonom is these three vertical dots, and on the iPhone is these three horizontal dots. Now it pretty much brings up an identical menu. Uh, so the settings is here, and the settings is here, and this brings you all the different things that you can toggle on or off to customize uh, your phone the way that it suits you the best. And that's a brief overview of how to use the ES Chat app on a iOS device. There are more videos coming that are going to show what it looks like on a Samsung. And we have the Sonom Voice Phone, the XP5S, which is completely different. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching.